Wigan Athletic, a team who once had an eight season spell in the Premier League, with some of the likes of Emma Husky, Titus Bramble, Ben Watson, Emerson Boyce, Hugo Rodiega, featuring for Wigan over the years. And one of Wigan's biggest highlights was back in 2013 when they shot the whole of England and beat Man City 1-0, thanks to a Ben Watson 91st minute winner in the FA Cup. And in today's video, we are trying to get Wigan Athletic back into the Premier League where they once used to be. Make sure to hit the like button, comment any teams you'd like me to rebuild, and subscribe if you're new around here. Let's get straight into this Wigan Athletic rebuild and see if we can get them back to the Premier League. The season one transfer window is over, and as you can see, guys, we've made a couple of signings. Only free agents for Wigan in the first season because we didn't have much money at all to even go out and buy players. So I had to go to the free agents. Ali came in as our striker. I'm going to put him up top. Quetta on the left hand side, young player. Also very good on the left wing. So the next player is Reyes, another good player from centre back position. I think we need it because we're playing free at the back. I'll show you guys the, the team in a minute. Uh, I needed more centre back cover, so he'll be starting for us. And then I've sold a couple of players and loaned out a couple of youngsters that won't play for us. So that is the first season's transfer window over. So now I'm going to quickly go and show you the squad. So uh, you can see who's going to be playing for us in the first season. So I will quickly show you that now. Okay then guys, as you can see on the screen, this is going to be the lineup. I'm going with a different formation in this, uh, in this rebuild. Wigan playing three or well, five at the back, three centre-backs. So this is the squad that we're going to go with. A lot of the players are already here. A lot of the players are already on loan, are actually on loan. So uh, Ali goes up top, Puerto goes on the left. Uh, Reyes slots in at centre-back. And then we've got a couple of good players um, in this squad. Obviously, like I said, a lot of low knees, but we've got a good squad depth amongst us we've got uh, a few players out on loan like i showed you so i'm confident with this team hopefully we can reach i mean the, the goal now would be automatic promotion but i wouldn't mind a little uh, playoff run as well so that is going to be the squad for season one we're going to go simulate now and see where we end up at the end of season one as you can see guys wigan are going to the championship they finished second on 82 points behind bolton who won the league on 90 46 games played 24 wins, 10 draws, 12 losses. That's a great season for Wigan. I'm going to go quickly check the competitions um, that were also in FA Cup. I don't think we're going to get very far in any of them. Uh, by the looks of things, we didn't even make it out of like any of the rounds. So yeah, I mean, well, there we were. Got knocked out by Man United in round three in the uh, FA Cup, Carabao Cup. Again, I don't really think we're going to be anywhere in here, to be honest with you guys. Let me check round one, maybe. I don't actually know. I can't see our... I'm not too sure. I actually can't see Wigan at all. I'm not sure. Round one, I'm guessing. I mean, it, okay, wow, wow. It's Bristol Rovers beat us 2-1 in the in round one, which is kind of annoying. So we're going to quickly go and check. I mean, the EFL trophy, again, nothing really too worrying. Round three, we've got knocked out. That doesn't really matter. So I'm going to quickly go and show you the squad and the stats for the season because obviously getting all the way up there. Let's see how many goals. Huerta on 19 goals. 15 goals for Reyes. He's a centre-back. What the hell? And then our right mid scored 14. 7 for Smith. And then a couple of goals for Ali as well. So the centre-back scoring 15 goals. That's great. And 11 assists from centre-back. Unless he was playing centre-mid, I don't know. But anyway, that concludes Season 1. Really, really good start. Up into the Championship. And we're going to dive straight into Season 2 and the transfer window. Okay, again, guys. As you can see, Season 2 transfer window is over in the summer. We made a few more signings. Again, we only got 10 million in the budget, so I just went with free agents. I think this is going to be the last season where I go for free agents because uh, we. I think hopefully we can get more money next season. Uh, then we can just start buying players. So a brew came in, centre-back. He's gone into the team because we did lose a few players through pre-contract agreements for the end of last season. So Bulldog comes in at right wing back to help us out. Same as Lewis Baker in centre-mid. Gonzalez, young keeper, to come in as a backup. Fournier, again, centre mid. He's probably actually going to start for us, the 17-year-old, because he's actually quite good. And then we've loaned out Smith for another season. So that is the transfers. I'm going to quickly go and show you the squad and the lineup for season two. So I will be right back. Okay, then, guys, I can see Gonzalez is in goal. Baldock at right wing back. Reyes, Hughes, Abreu as the back three. Sessegnon left wing back. Fournier and Baker in the centre mids. Lang's right mid or right wing. Ali's up top still and Huerta is a left wing. And then we've got the players on the bench still from last season. So that is the lineup. I'm hoping that we can improve kind of like, I know obviously we got promoted, automatic promotion, but I'm hoping to try and maybe get to the playoffs this season. I don't think we'll go up automatically. I don't think the squad is good enough 
for that. But we will see. You never know. So we're going to dive into season two now and see where we finish. Okay, then, guys, 15th for Wigan in the first season of the championship. I mean, it's not like it's not too bad. I mean, we at least we didn't get relegated. But I think, to be honest with you guys, some of the teams like Bournemouth, Sheffield United, Southampton, Luton, Norwich, like teams like that, they're just too good. Uh, I just think uh, we're. But yeah, we're just not there yet. I think we need at least another season or two in the championship before we even think about probably getting promoted. So, without further ado, I want to quickly check the cups just in case. I mean, I don't think we went very far in any of them. So, uh, we got knocked out of the third round replay of the FA Cup. Carwell Cup, again, I'm not too sure. I don't think we would have gone anywhere, if I'm being totally honest. Um, we got knocked out in round two. By oh, no, we won in round two. And then we got knocked out by Brighton in round three. So, unfortunately, no cup competitions and a 15th finish in the championship but nevertheless we're going to go check the stats of the players once again uh baker with 16 goals 10 goals for lang 10 for hueta okay not too bad not too bad so that concludes season two not too bad but a 15th is not great but i think we need a couple more improvements of the players so i'm going to go into season three now straight into the transfer window and we're going to try and buy some players to improve this squad so i'll see you guys there okay then guys chuck was the first signing of the season three window and then we also brought in a right wing back from Brentford because um, Bulldog is actually retiring at the end of the season. So I needed a replacement. Parrot on a free. I know I wasn't going to bring any more free agents in on this season, but he, he caught my eye and the alley guy that we signed also left. Uh, I think he left in the January window last season, which I didn't even realize. So that is the case. Smith's gone to Orlando City for a million pound. Goodman came in from a free for I need a backup keeper because our keeper actually left he put a transfer request in so a bit unfortunate but we've got a new backup so that's fine so I want to quickly show you guys the squad that I'm going to be rocking for today's well not today um <laughs> for this season season three is going to be looking like this the team is building up now my plan is to sell Reyes and Huerta next season I think Reyes I think I could get a lot of money for him so I'm going to try it again with this setup to get promoted if we don't i'm gonna sell reyes and try and get a load of money i'm gonna just buy a load i'm gonna buy a whole start in 11 pretty much so that's the goal that's the team hopefully we do well in season three let's find out and i'll come back at the end of the season oh god guys this is not looking good 17th for wigan in the season near well we're not nearly relegated but we've dropped down to 17th which is not ideal unfortunately which is it's just not, I don't think this squad's good enough, if I'm being honest. We definitely need a big overhaul. I'm going to try and sell a lot of players next season and try and probably boost up the squad. So we got knocked out by Morecambe in round three of the FA Cup. That's not good to see. Carabao Cup uh, most likely got knocked out in round one or two. I'm going to go check that. Uh, I can't actually see us on here. Are we here or not? We got, wow, Angleton won. We got knocked out in round one. Wow. That is embarrassing. So that is really unfortunate. I'm, like I just don't really know what to say. I'm gonna go check the stats for the players um, for the season. Obviously, Weta again. Score. I don't know why the, the centre back keeps scoring so many goals for us. Uh, but my plan is now this season I'm gonna sell Reyes and probably get like 50 million. And Weta, I might keep him, but then just sell Reyes and just profit on, and then just get an overhaul of the whole squad and sell loads of players and bring in loads of players is the goal for season four. So I'm going to go do that now, jump into the uh, summer window for season four, and I'll show you guys who we sign. We have been busy in season four window. Doyle was the first player we signed because we sold Reyes for 47 million to Newcastle. Like I said in the previous segment, I said that I was going to sell Reyes for the money and bring in some players. So Doyle was the centre back to replace him. Only 15 million from Frankfurt. Uh, Luka Jovic, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try some, try players that people don't normally use in career mode, so we've gone with him. Uh, Debast De was also another player that I brought in to centre-back to fill in that uh, trio now of Debast, uh, Doyle, and obviously Abru, the young lad that we got on a free. And I've loaned out a couple of players that don't really feature in the squad. So, I'm going to quickly go show you what the squad is going to be looking like if we go to team management. Not much has changed apart from obviously the back line, they've got two new centre-backs in. Jovic up top but now I think that team is good enough to try and challenge for the playoffs so we'll see how we get on and if we need to we'll try and maybe bring someone in in January but I don't think we probably will but you never know so I'm going to simulate the season now and see where we end up at the end of it in season four 
Okay then guys, massive improvement from last season. Wigan have gone up to ninth in the championship. I do believe now that I think a few more good signings, like, you know, the 80 plus overall signings, I think will get there into the playoffs at least. I mean, look at this, like Bournemouth have just absolutely smashed it this season, which is unfortunate. And uh, we're going to go check the cups as we always do. City Liverpool final. Uh, oh, wow. We got to the, round of the quarterfinals. We got knocked out by Brighton, which is quite uh, the achievement from last season as well. I don't think we're going to get through in any of these other cups, to be honest with you. And I can't see us here. So I guess we got knocked out early doors. Uh, so we loot our oh, loot and one on penalties in round one. So that's a bit frustrating, but. Nevertheless, we're going to go look at the player stats for the season. Again, I'm looking at probably, yeah, Huerta. Parrot played a lot. Wow, did Jovic didn't play that many games, which is quite annoying because I bought him for that, um, unfortunately. But what can you do? Anyway, Huerta's our 85 rated. That's insane. I might actually sell him this season because I could get the money and then just buy a load of players. But we're going to go decide what we do now in season five. I'm going to go straight into the summer window. And I'm going to try and overhaul this squad once again to try and push on to get promoted to the Premier League. Okay then, guys. End of Season 5 transfers. And we made a couple of signings. Backer is coming in at left back. Oscar Bob has come in from Man City. I think he's a good signing because we've loaned out Lang. I just don't think he was good enough. Oscar Bob's a bit younger and he can come in to right wing for us. So that's all I've done in this window, to be honest with you guys. I haven't really done much. The only one that I was going to do is sell Huerta, but I've kept him for another season. Jovic is going down the ratings, which is quite annoying. But uh, Bob goes in, uh, Backer goes in. Our team is looking good. Again, we just need to try and... I, I don't know. It's either I sell Huerta and then just uh, buy a load of good players that are too good for the championship and then just try and get promotion that way. Or we just keep trying to grind out to get to the playoff places. So that's what I'm, I'm choosing option two for now. I'm going to give it one more season, and if we don't get promoted this season, then I'm going to sell Huerta, and I'm going to go all out and just spend loads on high-rated players. So, this is going to be the uh, squad for the season. So, roll on season five, and then we'll see where we end up in the next clip. Oh, guys, look at that. We finished seventh in the league. One point off playoffs. We're nearly there. We're so close. We are genuinely so close. I'm going to look for the cup competitions. Oh, that's such, such a shame. Unfortunately, I'm going to go into the squad hub and look at the stats for the season. Unfortunately, we just missed out on playoffs. Huerta again with all the goals. Jovic, Chukwemeka. Uh, again, not many other players getting goals apart from Huerta. 88 rated. Surely this season he's going to go out. Uh, next season, sorry. In season six, I think I'm going to have to sell him, boys, because he is just too good for Wigan in the championship. Uh, he was a free agent in the first season and he's 88 rated now. So... Unfortunately, we're one point off. I think next season, if I sell him, and we're just going to overhaul the whole squad, and we're just going to get improvements everywhere, and players that probably aren't championship level, they're probably Premier League level. So, this is the end of Season 5. We're going to jump straight into the summer window of Season 6 right now. Right then, guys. Massive, massive deals went on in Season 6 for Wigan. Bobek was the new keeper, 21 million that we signed, but Hoeta finally sold for 177 million i had to do it i mean he was unreal for us our best player throughout the whole video um but unfortunately uh, times are tough at wigan i think we needed the money inject and the only way we we're going to get money was selling our best player so we've gone in and got reinforcements bove garcia paredes and cunha were the players that came in using that money that we did get from Huerta. now obviously a lot of these players are obviously probably way, way too good for the championship. But, I mean, we need to push on now and get promoted. So, I think we can probably get automatic or win the league at this rate with this squad now. So, I'm actually going to go show you quickly while we are still here. The lineup. So, Bebek in goal. We've still got the same back line. But Garcia comes in. Uh, Bove comes into the middle. Cunha up top. Paredes on the left. And that is the squad for the season. So, season six is upon us. Let's see where we end up in season six. Yes, guys, we've finally done it. We've done it. We've been promoted. As you can see, we finished second. Wolves finished first. And we finished on 88 points. It's just finally. I'm so happy that we've finally done it. We finally got promoted to the Premier League, which is really, really good with Wigan. Uh, we got knocked out in round four of the FA Cup. And then round of... Oh, no. We got knocked out in the round four. Okay, round four by West Ham is not too bad. And then nothing else. So... Really, really good to see. I want to quickly go and show you the player stats for the season. I'm expecting a lot of goals, so let's see. Cunha with 22, Bo with 18, Paredes with 16, 
Fournette with 13. 21 years old, 82 rated. He's been really, really good for us. Bob with a few goals as well. Um, so really, really happy with the, ta uh, the team. We finally got promoted, guys. So we're going to move on now into the next season. We're going to go straight into the transfer market and buy some new players. Right then, guys. Season 7 transfer window. Davey was the first one we signed from AC Milan. £34 million. Pepe was the next one. £54 million uh, to come in at striker to... I mean, I'm not sure if I want to replace Cunha just yet for this season, but uh, he's going to be in and around the squad. Uh, obviously, Parrot went to Torino. Gonzalez went to uh, one of the Portuguese League's team, and that was actually it for the window. We didn't spend too, too much. This is the team. Uh, unchanged, apart from, obviously, Davy coming in at right back. And Cunha, again, I'm not too sure if I want to... I'm not too sure who I want to start, who I want to put on the bench. So that is the squad for now. Looking good. First season in the Prem. We'll see how we get on. Season seven. Let's see if we, I mean, this team's good enough not to get relegated. So I think we'll be all right in that case. But I think maybe mid table I'll take for the first season in the Prem. So we're going to find out what happens in season seven. I'm going to simulate the season and we'll be at the end of the season in the next clip. And we'll see where we end. Okay then guys, we finished ninth in the first season in the Premier League. I did say mid-table I would take that. And actually, that's not too, too bad. I think the squad we've got is is a mid-table team at this time of uh in like the in the position of uh where we are, like 20 30, I think we're in now. Um so I was just looking through the cups. I can't see us anywhere near the winning them, so I won't even bother trying to find us. Um we want to go in the squad hub and look at the players' stats for the season. Oscar Bob, top goal scorer. Paredes, Pepe, Cunha, Bove getting the goals. Look at that, 87 rated, 84 rated, and he's 22 years old. Cunha's 31, but he's 85. Uh, Oscar Bob's up to an 85 now. Uh, Pepe, he doesn't really done anything for us. I might sell him, to be honest. I know we just bought him, but uh, he's not really doing much for us. Anyway, that is the um, that is where we finish. Ninth in the league, I will take that. So, Wigan, first season in the Prem, finished ninth. We're going to move on into the next season buy some more players, probably sell some more players, and then we'll see where we end up in Season 8. The Season 8 transfer window has come to an end, and Doku was the first player we signed. Oscar Bob went the other way. I mean, Bob was doing all right for us, but his rating just wasn't going up as quickly as I wanted it to. Doku's come in. He's really, really good. And then the next player is Frank from Chelsea, £9 million plus backer. Uh, he was getting a bit old. He's like 30-odd now. So we brought in a young 22-year-old to play left back for us. Uh, and then we brought in a few free agents just to boost up the squad. So, they're the two main signings though. Not too much business going on. I'm thinking about selling the other striker that we had signed because he's just not really as good as I was expecting. So, we're going to simulate through Season 8 and see where we end up. I'm hoping we can try and get into the, at least Europa League, maybe top four. But we'll have to see um, what we'll do now. I'll simulate through the season and then we'll come back and see where we finished. Before we do get to the end of the season, I wanted to just say uh, or show you guys the team that we've got. So Doyle has actually really impressed me. A lot of people are trying to bid for him, but I'm just rejecting it for now. The back line is obviously the same, but Frank comes in. Paredes, Cunha, Bo, Foyanet, and Doku. So the squad is looking good. I'm hoping this team can push on to a top five, top six finish. The fingers crossed on that. So without further ado, we're going to jump through and simulate through season eight. Right then, guys. Unfortunately, we finished 10th. Again, another mid-table finish in the Premier League. I thought this squad was going to be able to push on, but maybe I'm wrong, unfortunately. Let's check the Cups. FA Cup. Man's oh, Huddersfield against Man City. We got knocked out by Huddersfield 3-1. Oh, wow. That's embarrassing. Anyway, moving on. I don't know if we made it through to this round. Doesn't look like it. And I don't think... Oh, wow. We definitely didn't. Okay, we got knocked down by Brentford on penalties in round two. That's not what you want to see. I want to go look at the player stats as we always do. Let's go into the squad hub and we'll go to stats and goals. Paredes, top goal scorer, Cunha with 12. And then a bunch of other players just getting a couple of goals, not too many. Uh, but unfortunately, another mid-table finish. We're going to move on into season nine. I'm hoping I can try and get some money to buy some more players to improve this squad so we can try and climb up the ranks. So... We're going to dive into the next season and I'll show you guys who we sign. Right then, guys, massive signings done for this season. Dennis came in and uh, the best went the other way to Mujing Lab back. Uh, obviously, he's getting a bit old and his rating just stayed at 83 for some reason for like two, three seasons. So I got rid of him. Our keeper actually pre agreed to leave the club. So Restez uh, came in for 48 million from Wolfsburg. 
And then that Pepe striker, I I I just didn't really want him anymore. He wasn't be wasn't good. Went down ratings instead of up. So I brought in a new centre back uh, to replace the Spanish centre back Garcia that we have because he is getting old now and not really improving. So those are the three signings that I've made. And while I'm here, I will quickly show you the team and the lineup. I mean, the team looks stacked now. I mean, we've got a lot of high rated players in here now. So I'm hoping this season we can go on to like try and get uh, Champions League football for next season. So that is the goal to get in the top four. So we're going to end this part here and we're going to jump through the season and see where we finish. Massive improvement for Wigan. We finished second in the Premier League behind Man City, only losing six games throughout the season. 20 wins, 12 draws. I knew this squad was much better than what we were finishing in the mid table. So it's a massive climb up the table. We're going to quickly go look at the competition. We got knocked out by Forrest in the semi final of the FA Cup. What about the Carroll Cup? I wasn't too sure about this one. I don't know. Okay, we got knocked out in the round four by Norwich, which is a bit annoying, but I mean, it's a massive, massive improvement from the last few seasons. So I want to go check out the squad hub and look at the stats of the players. Cunha still banging in the goals, same as Paredes, up to an 89 now. Cunha's going down the ratings, which means I'm going to go look for a new striker next season. Doku doing really well, Bove as well, and Foyer as well. Davy as well. Look at this, man. The ratings are so good. So... Next season, we're in the Champions League with Wigan. Obviously, Cunha, I'm going to have to get rid of him and bring in a brand new striker who hopefully can lead the line to a Premier League title and the Champions League. So, we're going to move on into the next season now. And I go straight into the summer window and try and sign some players. So, let's roll into that. Season 10 is here and oh my god, guys, I have been busy in the market. Garcia, we finally sold him 20 million. I thought I may as well take the money while I can. Uh, and then I brought in a free agent again just for the uh, the bolster in the squad. Oh, I went down a bit. Alfonso Davies for left back for this season. I think he's he's like 88, 89 overall. And then the big one was actually this Mendes guy. He's 25. Uh, he obviously must have been like a, a youth player or a regen. Cunha went the other way because, you know, he was going down the ratings even though he has a great career at Wigan. But unfortunately, it's time to move on and Mendes comes in. And then also Reyes. If you guys remember from the start of the video, the first free agent or one of the first free agents we signed in the first season was Reyes. He's now like a 90 rated. I thought, why not bring him back for a season and to try and win the Champions League and the league? So he was another one that came in. I put the other centre back the other way and Dennis went the other way for Hato from Roma. Plus 45 million. So the team is looking good. I must have, I must say, like, it, look at this team. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing players across the board. I think we can win the Premier League this year and hopefully the Champions League as well. So, fingers crossed, we're going to dive straight into Season 10 now and simulate through and hopefully we can get our hands on that Premier League title and that Champions League. Let's go, guys. Wigan have finally won the Premier League. It's been 10 long seasons of this rebuild and Wigan Athletic have finally won the Premier League after a few years in the top flight of English football. Look at that table man, from 5th all the way to 1st, it was close. I'm going to go look at obviously the FA Cup and the Carroll Cup and so uh, we didn't actually make it that far, well we go out, not round 5 by Spurs, okay. Carroll Cup, I mean the cup competitions we didn't really do very well in, I don't, we didn't win one cup the whole time, lost to United in the round of 3. Champions League. This is the big one, guys. Did we make it to the final of the Champions League? Yes, we did, guys. Real Madrid versus Wigan. 4th of June, 2033. Yes, let's go, guys. Before we do get into that game, I do want to go and look at the stats for this season. Obviously, it's been a long season. Mendes with 37 goals. 23 for Paredes. Both 15. Doku, 14. A lot, a lot of I mean, look at the ratings on some of these players. Really, really nice to see. And season 10 is when we finally reach the Champions League final and win the Premier League. If we could do the double in this in this part of the episode, it would be amazing. So I'm going to go straight into this final against Real Madrid. And hopefully we can grab our hands on that Champions League title. We've won the Premier League. We finally won some proper silverware. It's time to go into the Champions League final. Right then, guys, as you can see on the screen, Valverde, Vinny Jr., Turam, Camavinga, Ruben Diaz, Pau Torres, Marvin Adogi, and O <laughs> are the players we're going to be facing against Real Madrid, Champions League final, Wigan Athletic, and this is the team we've got. I mean, look at that team. It's actually unbelievable, the team we've managed to create. 
at Wigan. So we're going to dive straight into this game against Real Madrid in the Champions League final and hopefully we can take home the trophy. Here come Real Madrid once more. Oh, now for on goal. That's a great challenge in the midfield there. Both can come away with it. Can Doku make that run now against the Dogi? Oh, it's unlucky. Still got a throw in though. Davy plays it back to Bo, back to Davy. Oh, I should have really played in Doku, which we have done now. It's Jeremy Doku. It's Doku. He squares it to Paredes. Saved by the keeper. And he's offside. They come Real Madrid now again with a Dogi down this left, left hand side. They've been down the side a lot in this game, but Davy comes away with it. Gonna need some support here because the Dogi is chasing us. But I mean, Davy, he's going all the way by himself. It's Davy, the right back. It's Davy. It's saved. Doku now down this right hand side. I'm gonna play it back to Davy inside to Mendes. Can we try and create something here? I'm gonna try and play it back out to Doku. Davy's making that run across. It's Davy on the outside. He's gone around the defense. It's Davy. Cuts back to Doku. Doku for Wigan. He scores the goal to make it 1-0 in this final against Real Madrid. Champions League. Doku has scored the goal to put Wigan up 1-0. What a lovely run that was from Davy down that right-hand side. He cuts it back to the first man there. That was Doku. And he manages to squeeze that into the back of the net. And it makes it go 1-0 to Wigan Athletic. Doku now, once again, coming down this right-hand side. We had a lot of success coming down this flank. Going to cut inside. Doku, lovely. Going to cut this one back again. Is Davey going to make that run around? Yes, he is. It's Davey to Bove. Bove with the shot. Oh, my God. Doku now. It's a great ball from Davey. Doku, he's through on goal. It's Jeremy Doku to win it for... Wigan, let's go! Doku again at the double. His second goal of this final. And surely that means Wigan Athletic are going to win the Champions League. It's 2-0 now against Real Madrid in this final. With 10 minutes to go. Can we get one more chance before the end of the game? Oh, wow, lovely run. Oh, are we threw on goal or not? No. Last couple of minutes now of this game. Reyes, oh, that could be a red card. Oh, Reyes. Second yellow in the last minute. He had to make the challenge and he mistimed it. And it is a red card for Reyes. But I think we've done enough. Last minute of normal time. Are we going to go? Oh, wow. The ball's dropped down. Lovely. Doku can just run away with it. Jeremy Doku. He's knackered, but he's still going against Kamavinga. I mean, Kamavinga's running the wrong way there. And Doku's missed the tackle. Diaz. And that is it. Wigan Athletic have won the Champions League final. They've done it. They won the Premier League and the Champions League in the same season. And what a way to finish off winning the Champions League. I accidentally skipped the um I accidentally skipped the thing there by accident. I did not mean to do that, guys. Unfortunately. We don't get to see the trophy, but we do finish the season. Wow, what a season this has been. 10 seasons with Wigan now. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to simulate until they have the cutscene. So we can end the video here with the trophy celebration with the Premier League and the Champions League. Wigan Athletic have done it. They've won the Champions League in the Premier League. Season 10. Boy, what a rebuild this has been. We had some of the best players in the end game there. And it took us a long time to get to the Premier League and then a, a good couple of seasons to actually win it. So I'm really pleased with how this video turned out. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this rebuild because I did. Make sure to leave a like, comment any teams you want me to do in the near future and subscribe if you're new around here. I'm going to leave you guys with the celebrations of win winning the Champions League and the Premier League with Wigan.